We're dealing with some scars ahead, but less for Matthias. That's good. You got it. Too many ways to add to their numbers if needed. Be careful! I'm trying! How did you make them so mad, Matthias? Could use some help. Look out! Don't know what it is, but it looks dangerous. Rust Reaver. The thing's name is Rust Reaver. I don't care what its name is. That thing just isn't dying. What the hell? The Scar Leader's down. Oof, let's clean up the rest of them now, shall we? The Scar's out of the way. Someone check on Matthias. I think we're done. Everyone's safe. Hey, Scar's. I don't know what to think. Arcanists and Scars often clash over Shaper sites, but nothing like this. I must tell Tassin. Please, I need to return to Fort Tarsus.
Freelancer. Thanks for the save. That trouble was unexpected. You often hang around outside the walls like that? Occupational hazard, but this was different. Something's making the scars more violent. I think it's the Dominion. We think they're back. I'm sure you must know Freelancer Yaro. <sighs> I think Tassin's right. This feels like before the attack on Freemark. The one that set off the Heart of Rage? I don't really know the whole story. I do. Much of what I am about to tell you is not well known. My ward, Johnny, was there ten years ago. She saw it with her own eyes. What you will already know is that Freemark was one of the great cities of Bastion. Ancient, proud, prosperous. But most important, it held the largest and greatest enclave of freelancers anywhere. The freelancers, along with the Sentinels, guardians of the walls, protected Freemark and its people from the chaos of our world. Until one day, the Dominion arrived on their doorstep. Cruel conquerors from the north. The Dominion, the Sentinels, and the Freelancers would make their claim for Freemark that day. Each group, heirs in their own right to the legendary General Tarsis and her Legion of Dawn. One of our best, Freelancer Adams, led the charge as the Enclave leapt to meet the Dominion forces head on. My Johnny, says the army, was massive. The Dominion was led by Dr. Harkin, a man never seen before or after that day. He came to take the city at any cost. So they fought, outnumbered, outflanked, and outgunned. Free Lancers fought. They did well for a time. But the walls of the Great Free Mark did not hold. The Dominion poured in. Adams, with many freelancers, made their last stand outside the city walls. While some, like Johnny, stayed to help who she could. When, without warning, the doomed sentinels fell back. But now I tell you that deep in the city, Johnny discovered what the Sentinels already knew. The Dominion didn't want to destroy Freemark. They wanted to capture an ancient Shaper relic that was protected deep inside the city. The Cenotaph.
It seems this Dr. Harkin believed he had created a way for the Dominion to use the Cenotaph to control the Anthem of Creation itself. Arrogance. The Anthem will not be controlled. The terrible cataclysm which was unleashed that day destroyed Freemark, destroyed the Dominion, destroyed everything. That cataclysm became the heart of rage. Some survived to tell the story of Freemark, but not many. Dominion must be back for a reason. I clearly have more intel to hunt down. Come and find me later. Yeah, me too. I'll contact you when I have something. I'll be in the Enclave. Hey there. I figured you'd make your way to me soon enough. You're the new freelancer I've been hearing about. Only the good parts. <laughs> oh, it's all good. The fact that anybody's talking about a freelancer is even better. Name's Prospero. I'm betting you're the one I've been waiting for. Yeah? Why's that? You understand being a freelancer is more than just a job. It's about pride. Pride in doing something well. Pride in your javelin. Hasn't been much of that lately. Intolerable. Who wants to charge into a fight looking plain and simple? What kind of statement does that make? Not when you could fly in looking like steel thunder come to life. A fistful of lightning in one hand and a hailstorm of pain in the other. That's colorful. Is what I do. When lancers want to make a statement, they buy something special for their javelin. Maybe custom decals or bodywork. I'm the guy they come to. We're used to. Hasn't been any demand. The Forge can't even build anything these days. I'm hoping you can change that. How can I help? We need to fire it up again. That takes Ember. And someone with the guts to collect it. If you can find some, I'm back in business. We both are. I'll teach you how to craft things. Okay, I'll buy it. What I wanted to hear. You'll need to search for Ember outside the fort. Bring it here and we can start getting this place back on its feet. Will do. Hey, Prospero. I know you got good news. All the ember you need. What I wanted to hear. All right, then. Let's get to business and fire up the forge. It's time all these javelins around here got the tender loving care they deserve. Head on over to the forge, and you can start crafting. But don't forget, when you want to make a statement, maybe polish that javelin up with a nice coat of pain and thunder. Come see me. So, you're the thunder merchant, huh? Hey, the best freelancers always arrive with a bang. But first... They buy it from me. Don't be a stranger.
Now here's where it gets fun. Time to make a statement. 